All right, here we have lecture 22. And this 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 lecture right here is probably honestly the one of the best lectures I've ever seen from ICT. He goes into such in depth of everything and like it's very nice and then I rewatched that trade and I, I think it was just a good experience and very very pleasing to see this. Anyways, uh, I just want to go over my notes that I have on this. So we had a uh, constant approach with this wick. We ideally want to see um, see a state in the upper portion of this wick more opportunities are going to occur within the upper portion although the best opportunities are going to um, the best opportunities are going to be within this uh, lower portion of this imbalance uh, in, in that wick and now we have this order block because we have a swing low we've had displacement we kind of have this indecision indecision indecisive candle that can uh, frame a uh, intermediate term retracement here so we have that as well um in terms of that Oh, he went over this as well with wicks. Whenever we have two wicks like this, like which wick would I choose to have constant encroachment? Well, whatever wick has done the most damage, this is the longest wick, so we want to use that for our uh, constant encroachment level. And as you see, um, this this is kind of where I I fall victim to in just looking for and demanding precision when it comes to wicks because normally I want to see that level get respected perfectly to the tick. But even here, we're very well respecting that level. Look at the bodies. And it, like, I kind of want to see like it tick that, like directly go to that wick, but we don't need to see absolute perfection. There's going to be Mohawks in price as we have there. Um, in other terms, order block stuff. Um, and then volume imbalance. So on the daily chart, uh, whenever we're looking for volume imbalances, make sure we're settling, uh, we're using Settlement versus non-settlement to uh, look for these volume balances. I know I got a bunch of stuff. I always got a bunch of stuff in my chart. So if you if you, if you watch any of my um, stuff, so just know that I'm going to always have stuff on my chart. So here we have this volume balance here and then this volume balance here. Notice how this one doesn't show up when we don't have settlement, but that's going to be of importance for us. If you look at actually how we're trading today, here, I'll, I'll clear, I'll clear. I'll give your eyes a break. If you look at how we're trading here, this is as bullish as um, as I, I would like it to see it. Although I want to, it is NFP week. I want to see how this week closes. But if we're just looking at this from right now, at this current moment of time, yes, we still have a, a large portion of this day. Like this is 10.43 a.m. as I'm recording this. I want to see if we do trade to this order block again. But ideally, if we have an order block, I don't want to see us trade it, trade it, trade it. We do have equal lows here, so we do have this rejection block too. So there, there's a lot that needs to put in. I don't like to say what I think longer term bias is because I'm not a, a swing trader, I'm a day trader. So in terms of that, we kind of are disrespecting that order block. And if we're looking at this wick, we're not really respecting that, but I would like to see us close above that if we want to remain bullish and trade in this gap. So other than that, other notes from the last year, three day look back for pre old highs and lows. So um, from now on, I'm always gonna have these on my chart because I like going through ICT's lectures, it kind of is that hidden gem. He always talks about three day look back for old highs and lows, but it's not something that's as sexy and as appealing. So I think that this kind of gets disregarded, but well, I, I'm going over the 2023 mentorship and already within here, uh, let's see. Why is it not showing up? Like just within the 2023 mentorship, one, two, he talks about it at least three times so far. So something that's kind of tucked in that he's kind of um, been talking about more in this 23 mentorship. And other than that, yeah, I, I like I thought this was just one of the the be better lectures I've ever seen. Uh, four macros in the final mac hour. He uh, cleared up the macros. So we have 250 to 310. That's your macro. 240 to, or 220 to 240. Those types of macros, they're not a thing. He's already cleared and discussed that. You have your 315 to 345. You have that final hour trading macro. Then you have your market on close macro, which is 345 to four. And you have your settlement macro, which is when that volatility rushes the market. Um, I feel like I already, cause I went over this and I, 
I already went over that day in price action, so there's not really much that I, I kind of need to discuss, but just a very solid lecture um, that we had that silver bullet. Because where was that silver bullet? It was Friday. Very very nice for the old uh, day. We reaccumulate within this inversion level, and then we trade up to buy side, back in that 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 magnet right there. Concert to that 15-minute wick. Overall, like just beautiful price action. Like, very nice. And we're trading that new day opening gap right there. Uh, change to delivery right there. Boom, higher prices. Imbalance right there. Um, there was Oh, this wick right here, that five-minute wick. Notice how we closed above that. That's, that's what I'm talking about with the wicks. Wicks, I want to see absolute precision, but the bodies are telling the story. We're, tr we're closing above that, and boom, we're coming right down. Displacement, 350 settlement macro. Boom, yeah, volatility injects. And we don't actually, or we did take that high. Why do I think we didn't? But then we end up taking the high. So market maker, buy my lot. We're going down to go higher. And this, this is just absolutely beautiful, like intraday price action. Beautiful. <laughs> I don't like trading Fridays, but this this is probably one of the better Fridays I've I've seen within my back, own back testing. And as you see today, we're just melting lower. We had a small uh, trade above 830 open. And then boom, just melting lower. So anyways, that's all I got for this one. Hopefully you all have a good rest of your day. And I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good one.